We want to welcome everyone who's traveled uh, to be here for Jessica and Peter's wedding today. We know that they appreciate your presence. Well, this is the day you have waited for, and it's here. And all the planning is over, and you can relax and take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment. Your marriage inspires us. The guests here today come from many different contexts in both of your lives. See, we live in a fast-paced, transient world where genuine and loyal relationships seem few and far between. And we've come to witness your marriage because your marriage requires and demonstrates that the virtues of promise keeping, of selflessness and honor are precious and real. We are encouraged by you. We're hopeful that your devotion to one another will strengthen your families, places of work and worship, and the communities you inhabit. And we're thankful to witness this moment as a matter of celebration, of course, but also as witnesses, we hope to nurture your union. First off, Renee and I would love to officially uh, welcome everyone and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to travel to this beautiful destination to <laughs> celebrate with us and Jessica and Peter. Uh, we've always been extremely proud of Jess. The decisions that she's made in her life and the positive impact that she has on all those that are around her and especially her commitment to a Christian life. We love you, sunshine. And we're excited to have Peter now as part of our family, although it took him a long time to try us out, uh, but uh, we're, we're welcoming. You know, you begin praying for this day, uh, the day your children are born, and our prayers have been answered. We're proud of the decision that Jessica made. And we welcome Peter to our family with open arms. Congratulations to both of you, and we love you dearly. This is a great journey that you're both about to embark on, but you'll find that it has its difficult moments. But you need to be encouraged when you look around this room and you see the level of love that exists for the both of you. I want to urge you to take advantage of the many years of experience, love, and concern that everyone in this room has for the two of you. So, as we sat in my Land Rover and Please talked drive. about life and our futures, I had no idea God would lead us to today. I can look back over all those years and see His hand leading us through life and leading us to this moment. The greatest honor of my life is becoming Miss Aiken. And I can't wait to walk through life side by side with you. And God is our God. Oh, Peter, I promise to vow to love you always and forever. <laughs> May the fellowship and the presence of this eclectic gathering of friends and family and neighbors and perhaps any random people that are here that you didn't even invite. <laughs> Be a special memory as you begin your lives together. Jessica, you are a creative, ambitious, kind person. 
and you found one who is like you. Peter, we're so thankful that you've been a part of our family unofficially. <laughs> and now we can welcome you officially into our family. And we all together wish you the joy and happiness that comes with a lifetime of friendship and love. But the most important thing that I can tell you is to keep God at the center of your relationship. Allow Him to guide your every decision in the direction that you choose to take your life. We love you both and we wish you all the best in your new life together. I'm very happy that she found Peter uh, a long time ago. Uh, I'm <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be funny. I'm sure they don't have near as much fun as me and Jessica did growing up, but at least he doesn't make her mad and cry all the time like I did. Peter, I'm glad to have you and your beard as brother-in-laws. Y'all are very kind, caring, generous, and loving towards Jessica. If I could have prearranged this marriage, I probably would have chosen someone like you. On behalf of Morgan and I, I would like to say I uh, want to wish you a, a very blessed marriage. Uh, Y'all are going to have an awesome time together. You're two fun people. I want to wish you guys a happy marriage. For the very first time, Mr. and Mr. Peter Aiken. He asks if I want to play Nintendo 64. Well, of course I do. So he sticks in the NFL game that he had. And I'm pumped because I think I'm about to beat him. I pick a solid team, and he makes a pick, and it's okay. I already knew mine was better. So he chooses to kick to me first. As the ball goes sailing through the air, I prepare to catch this ball. Before I can catch this ball, Peter has already tackled me, and I realized Peter had put in a cheat code. <laughs> Peter put in super speed, and therefore I had no chance to win this game. Throughout my life, I realized Peter had cheat codes. <laughs> Peter always had something up his sleeve. No matter what it was, Peter had one. Y'all's love is a love that I hope that I can continue to show my wife. Your love and your compassion for each other are something that very few people have. So I thank y'all so much for being my brother and thank you for being my sister. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Yeah. Well, you got your wish. Daylights are burning. <laughs> <laughs>